Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to talk about the four-sided matching of surfaces. Okay, let's start. Okay, I will use what we have on screen for our illustration purpose. Okay, let's turn on the zebra. Okay, what is required of us is to create a surface of over here that is um nicely matched or, or uh, blended to the four sides so that the final result is uh, more or less seamless okay so uh, let's explore the options of how this can be done okay by our normal typical logic we will think that a command such as the surface from network or curve might be a good option because this command allows for the creation of surface with the options of deciding the surface continuity options by the sides. Okay, so uh, let's try out and see whether it's really uh, the best way to do it. Okay, so I have the surface created using the surface from Curve Network. Okay. Um, before I proceed, I would like to say that um, if you are not familiar with surface continuity principles, you might not be able to fully uh, follow this uh, video demo. Okay, my suggestion is that uh, for those uh, who are not familiar with surface continuity uh, principles, you might want to click on the icon here to go to a previous video that I created that talks about these principles. Okay, so uh, let's come back to our demo again. So Okay, I'm going to set the curvature, uh, set the matching options for all sides to curvature. Click OK. So let's um check the zebra. Okay, as you can see, the result is not very good. There's an obvious uh, twist at the at the edges. Okay, nearing the edges. Okay, why is that so? Let's turn on the control points. Okay. Okay, as you can see, we have a lot of control points over here. And in theory, surface of network curve has already matched the edges to, to curvature because uh, you can see over here is curvature. However, the matching distance is too short because, okay, let me explain. The first row controls the position, second row controls tangent, third row controls curvature. However, these three rows are having a very short distance so although we are having a curvature match matching being achieved the matching distance is too short resulting in this kind of look that, that we have it is simply the result of having too much control points okay so in this case we can see that surface for network or curve is not the best options to do our task at hand okay Okay, as a side note, um, um, I have uh, persons asking whether we can use uh, Rhino the way that we use our tools uh, such as an alias. Okay, my opinion is that maybe we are not able to do this way. Uh, this because uh, although uh, a tool like alias and Rhino, they share the equivalent type of tool set for example rhino has a surface or network curve and alias has its equivalent um, rhino has two rail and alias has its uh, equivalent called by by rail um, we are not able to uh, use them use rhino the same way as we use alias because the result is not necessarily the same okay so yeah so and uh, this is um my personal opinion only okay so uh, let's head back over here so let's say in this case here you can see that um, surface network curve is not the best option so let's delete this so what I will do is um, to create a surface that is uh, matched to let's say only two both sides and also ensure that this uh, surface has uh, less control points so that we can manipulate it better okay 
So um, we can use things like maybe sweep to rail or maybe um, blend surface. Okay, so I'm going to use the blend blend surface. Okay, let's try. So click on this, click on this, and set the matching to curvature. And you can see that uh, these two sides there, the matching is already quite quite nicely done because it's set to curvature. However, over here and here, they are obviously not matched because um, the blend surface only allows for the two sides here to be to be uh, matched. So what we're going to do is we're going to manually adjust the points so that they are like more or less aligned. Okay, in terms of the zebra stripes. Okay, maybe something like that over there. And let's do the same for the other side. Okay. Maybe something like that. Okay, so let's click okay. And let's turn on the zebra again and let's also turn on the control points okay as you can see I know it's again creating too much control points along this direction especially so um, let's um, reduce the amount of control point in this direction we, we can do so by using the rebuild UV okay okay let's click on this let's uh, set the point count to let's say 12 okay so this we set to 12 and click enter yeah you can see that now the resultant surface have less control points and smoother over here okay so let's uh, proceed to manually match the, the sides okay so I'm going to do that by using the um, match surface and click on this and click on this okay and you have to decide whether you want to use tangency or curvature okay so okay, the reason why we are able to use tangency in this case where where the requirement is uh curvature is because uh the the previous uh tool that we have used have already match the surface to curvature so uh, in this case even if we use tangent right uh, the third the third, third row which is the the row that is uh, dealing with the curvature uh, has already been dealt with by the previous two so when we click on tangent we are working with uh, the first and second row and because the third row has been dealt, dealt with uh, we sometimes can get away with just using tangency as options okay but you have to uh, use it on a case case to case uh, situation okay so let's say I set this to tangent and make sure you're using the a uh, preserve as curve direction so that um, the the surface uh, doesn't change too much and if you click on the refine uh, match you will add additional control points okay so I think I'll just I don't think I need to refine match in this case here okay and click OK. So I'm done with this. Let's uh do for this side, okay? Okay, there's a little bit of mismatch over here. So let's click the refine mesh and see whether you are able to get a better result, okay? 
And again, you can decide whether you want to use uh, tangency or curvature. So I think tangency is giving us a better result. Okay. <coughs> okay, over here, uh, the matching is not not so so nice. Okay, but um, we will come back to it again. So so let's say we are uh, already more or less matched to two side. Can proceed to match here and. You have to decide again whether the spacing of the control point is good or not. Okay, so you want to have a good distance over here. Okay, so I think I'm okay with it. If not, you have to play with the knot man manipulation in the sense of uh, using the remove knots to reduce the the knots over here. Okay. But now I think I'm fine with this. So let's use the match surface. Match this to okay, match. Okay, and then uh, see whether okay. See, curvature is not giving us a good result. So engine and let's click OK. So yeah, more or less there. But there's a little bit of uh, mismatch over here. A uh, little bit of uh, angle change, which we can. Uh, improve by using the move UVM okay so maybe I will try to see whether I can improve the situation by moving this okay okay you can see it's are better now the flow is uh, slightly bad better okay mm. okay but over here there's a bit of mismatch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add additional uh, control points around this region using the insert knot okay around here okay and let's do our match again match surface okay so see the results better now okay so we're going to do the same for this side as well set to tangent okay as you can see there's a little bit of uh, discontinuity over here so we can also use the same method of insert knot to add additional control points around here okay and then do a matching again tangent will do in this situation but you get to look at uh, your own situation to see whether you should use curvature or tangent okay so it's uh, on a case case to case basis okay okay as you can see now the result is uh, much better than when we are using the surface from network curve okay so as you can see from here sometimes the most obvious uh, tool may not be the best tool for the job okay With that i come to the end of this demo see you around bye